since it is the end of the week and I am far too lazy to make a serious topic video, I thought we'd shitpost the living hell out of this by finding things that are very amusing that I think you should all see. So first of all, let's start with this picture that I saw Anime Renee tweet out, where Neverland Antifa have said, some of Antifa's gender fluid comrades had a photo shoot over the weekend, so hashtag hot. By the way, for Neverland Antifa, lover of children, not funny, not cool, no, we're not, we're not going to address that. We're going to look at this picture though. If this is what gender fluid is, someone needs to tell these four women that they are basically current year white trash. Hell, the one on the right, regardless of the daddy issue tattoo, has decided to up the ante by basically making her arm black. She's so edgy that her sleeve is black skin. Ooh, edgy, edgy boil out. Sharps and sides. Be careful, be careful you don't cut yourself and all that fucking edge. I think that's racist, I think. <laughs> and I can't help but notice on two of them, they have King of the Hill tattoos. Has you wondering, doesn't it? Hmm, really gets that mind ticking. What are these metaphors meant to mean? Excluding the fact that I've seen cheap hookers look far more expensive than these girls. <laughs> also, if this is what gender fluid is, you know, where you just dress like girls, then perhaps gender fluid isn't a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too early. Next. This Saturday marks a very special occasion in London, taking place in Parliament Square. As many of you remember, there was a Donald Trump protest, and during that protest there was this pathetic, feeble-looking blimp. In hindsight, it's actually not that small. It looked tiny from the angle it was shown at, but in hindsight, when you see it from underneath or near a picture, it's quite big at 20 feet. But still, not, not, not much really. A new blimp is going to be flown around London, though, this Saturday. This is it. Glorious, isn't it? It's very haram. Now, had Sadiq Khan banned this, because he was asked if one was flown of him, would he ban it? If this had been banned, it would have raised the obvious question of what is and is not okay in Sadiq Khan's London. Now, the organizers of this one paid 58,000 for this blimp, and this one is 29 feet. Now, I think this one looks considerably taller than the last one, or bigger overall, because whereas the Trump one was a blob baby, this one is, I think, longer, considerably longer. So this one will look more impressive when flying in London's Parliament Square this Saturday. To Yanni Bruer, uh, pronouncing that, the organiser of the Make London Safe Again has done a pretty good job of this, and I have to say, the yellow bikini, yeah. Although, if he really wanted to be adventurous, he could have made it a yellow polka dot bikini, and then, while flying it around London, played the Timmy Mallet song, which I won't play because of copyright. Glorious. Next. In Russia, there is a new disability, and I think we should all accept that there are some things in this world people should not have to suffer, and I think it's right. <laughs> In Russia, there was a construction company that used adverts for flats with an image of a very petite woman in a bra. It declared that the properties came with small prices and lots of complexes. The Russian Advertising Standards Board has said that it projects offensive images of women, then adding to its ruling <laughs> that small breasts were a physical defect for women. <laughs> Only in Russia. Oh, I love it. It's really special to know that when I put this on my server, that all the flat-chested women came out of the woodwork, accepted that they are physically defective. <laughs> Do you think they get disability living allowance in Russia? Can they claim it for this? Can they get some kind of support in the form of additional loo roll to stuff in their bras? Or maybe they can get free boob jobs with the government's money. Maybe get a tax break on it. <laughs> I have to admit, as sexist as it is, it is very funny. <laughs> oh, Russia, you are glorious. Many have claimed, by the way, that this is uh, taking one step forward because of the offensive part, and then two steps back because you think flat chests are a genetic defect. Um, I personally think Russia's federal anti-monopoly service are hilarious. I can just imagine them being sat in the boardroom coming up with this decision. All these blokes like, um, I would do a Russian accent for this, but I can't. 
So I'm necking the vodka, 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 same thing, yes. And saying, you know it would be really funny if we told flat-chested women that they are genetically defective. <laughs> if Trump's so sexist, he should definitely tweet that out. <laughs> I love it. It's interesting to note that this company that's been selling flats with these adverts has done it in the past. They've used half-naked women to sell properties which I think does breach some advertising standards. Maybe not in Russia, but it certainly would here. You can't falsely advertise like that. Maybe that's the more serious element, and maybe that is something they should talk about more. Oh, and one more advertisement the company has come up with was a larger woman with the caption, Even the discount is fatter after the holidays. I love this company. <laughs> The final thing I want to talk about is something semi-serious, but semi-hilarious. Where a young boy calling his teacher ma'am was made to write lines of this because the teacher was essentially on her period, with the teacher claiming that the boy was getting on her nerve when he called her ma'am, but was unable to give a reason as to why that was bad. It's the infamous, it's not what he said, but how he said it. How bad are your feels? Now, since this has happened, the boy has been moved to a different class. Good. Last thing we want to do in this school is trigger a teacher by saying ma'am incorrectly, or mom. I think we should just revert back to the infamous woman. My mother used to hate that. Honestly. If you couldn't remember their name, and you forgot the word ma'am or mom, woman. You risk, of course, getting the gender wrong, but that triggering is very amusing to watch. The mother of this boy who has been made to write all these lines has said, This is about my child being respectful, then threatened to be hit with something. This isn't about racism, as some people have made it out to be. If they're really going to handle it, the board that is, who have claimed they have handled it appropriate, then she'd like more information on that. And rightly so. I think if you're going to isolate one child, because you don't like the way someone says something, you believe there's some hidden context in the word and the tone, then I think you've got a problem. Might I recommend borrowing a tampon from this guy? Okay, I've run out of things to talk about now. I honestly couldn't be bothered to make a serious video, because I didn't do it last night when I normally do because I was too tired. So I thought, let's shitpost for a day. I hope you enjoyed it. So I hope everyone has a lovely Thursday. Thursday? Yes, it's Thursday. Yes, it's my day off. And thank you all for listening. Okay, turns out we're not done. I was about to render the video and then realized Traps LP uploaded a video that actually pissed me off. So I'm going to play most of his video because I like the idea of stealing his content. I have nothing to say about that. And I'm going to link his below. So instead I'm going to recommend you go and watch his instead and subscribe to him. Because what France has just done really irritates me. Hello everyone. I am Traps LP, also known as Trump LP by a witty squiddy. And today, do I have a story for you. I was graced with this absolute fuckery today when someone sent me this article. France passes law saying children can't consent to sex with adults. Which immediately made me sit upright and ponder quizzically and disappointedly at how we have gotten to this point in humanity. However, luckily for all of humanity, this initial article was mostly false, but it warranted some further looking into. Unluckily, it wasn't false enough. So first, let's go through the fake article. Once again, this article is misleading and mostly untrue. Federal law in France now has no legal age of consent, meaning adults who have sex with children of any age will not be prosecuted for rape if the child victim is unable to prove violence, threat, duress, or surprise. Oh my god, that is mind-numbingly retarded if it were completely true. But again, it is not. But, and that's a big but, what actually is going on in France? Well, earlier in the year, and some articles late last year detail, a new stricter law on statutory rape, sexual harassment, and sexual infraction laws in order to protect children and women after two cases of men getting away with having sex with 11-year-olds quote-unquote, shocked the country. Well, I should certainly hope so. The fact that they even got away with it for a small amount of time should make all of your lawmakers and the jury and the judge hang their heads in shame. 
DW.com, a German news organization, reported the following in June of this year. The proposed law has been suggested following two cases involving adult men who are accused of having sex with 11-year-old girls. In one case, a man was charged with sexual assault and not rape because the victim was considered to have consented. And in another case, a man accused of raping an 11-year-old was acquitted. Now, how on earth was he acquitted, you might be asking. Well, it is because in the previous iteration of rape laws, specifically not statutory, are defined as follows. Any act of sexual penetration, whatever its nature, committed against another person by violence, constraint, threat, or surprise. Therefore, to charge and find a person guilty of rape, the prosecution must prove malice, meaning violence, constraint, threat, or surprise. Otherwise, the charges don't apply. Now bear in mind, there are statutory laws as well, and they read as follows. Article 227-25 of the Penal Code, the fact for an adult to exercise without violence, coercion, threat, or surprise a sexual assault on the person of a minor under 15 years of age is punishable by five years imprisonment and a 75,000 euro fine. Five years and 75,000 euros is absolute horseshit, in my opinion. Based on the permanent damage you inflict on a child being put through that circumstance, you sick fucks. That child will grow up knowing that the asshole who did what they did will be free in five years. As you'd expect, when two men were basically freed of charges, France pushed for change. Enter Marlene Schiappa, France's gender equality minister. She produces a draft of a bill called the Schiappa Law, which imposes harsher punishment for catcalling, sexual harassment, and had originally had an age of consent in which there were no questions asked. Sex with a minor of that age was rape, and that was the end of it. Prove the person did it, okay, done, to prison for 20 years with you. But two months after introducing the draft with age of consent listed, it was voted down by the French equivalent of the U.S. House of Representatives. Based on the article shown on screen, yes, I know it is originally in French, the removal came down to semantics. The result of this whole debacle was reported on by Teen Vogue and Reuters, from what I could find. And Teen Vogue said this, Reuters reports that while a previous version of the bill would have assumed people's ages 15 and under did not give consent in cases of rape by an adult, the version that was passed still requires a judge to decide whether or not the victim gave consent. Great. So so what was changed in order to protect children, you may be asking? Well, because I do not speak French, I have to go with what I'm reading in reports. Snopes, in their rebuttal of the original article, stated that the window for reporting crimes has been extended from 20 years to 30 years, so if a minor is abused, that person can then take it to court up to 30 years later. But mainly, how you will see this reported is a catcalling law being put into place. So, where do I stand on all this? Well, first of all, the fact that the semantics was confusing enough for them to completely remove an age of consent provision is absolutely disgraceful. It should have been kept in, because lawmakers should have been able to come up with a way to ensure the perpetrator was punished for one of the most heinous of acts. I mean, that's what they were put into their political positions of power for, is it not? Furthermore, the fact that this is being reported as a victory for catcalling and street harassment and online harassment is kind of like opening a tub of ice cream in the fridge and finding out it's empty. I would have been okay with the law about catcalling online harassment, etc. At least more so if they had included the provisions to protect minors. But because they could not find it possible to do so in a timely manner, we are right back to where we started. A judge and jury must prove some form of coercion for the rape charge. France, you should be absolutely ashamed of your politicians. This is not a victory. Not for those who deserve justice for the crimes committed against them. You've robbed them of that chance. I've got downs. In your ass. Imagine my shock.